Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions slash Seizure Warning. Yes, that is becoming a thing apparently. My name is Nick and today we're checking out Illusory Momo. It's a maze game and it's freaking seizurific. As you can tell by this warning screen, seriously take it like as soon as I hit spacebar, it's going to be nasty. So get ready. We're going to solve a maze and it's going to be kind of ugly. Uh, and by ugly I mean flashing a lot. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing that's Momo, and she's illusory, and the flying spaghetti monster's making a cameo appearance here in the background. It's got quite a bit of music going on in it. I don't know what's what's up with this game. It seems like quite a lot of work to put into what essentially boils down to a maze. And as you can see, it's got that graphic in the background, which looks like it's wiggling. It's just an optical illusion. You'll see my character down on the bottom right corner. And our goal is to make it up to that wiggling version of myself up in the top left corner. Uh, so we're going to see if we can solve this maze while avoiding the walls on a friction, well, minimally frictional environment, which actually means that every time I let go of the arrow key, I'm going to slide a little bit, which makes this even harder. So I have to move in very small increments and hope against all, uh, all hope that I don't smack a wall like that. And that's what we're greeted with when we screw up. So we've got a long journey to get through this maze. I'm going to guess I'm probably not going to have the patience to sit through this the whole time. It just doesn't stop flashing either, man. Whole time through. Uh, so I'm going to hope I have the patience to make it through this maze and get to the, the end of this and see if there's more to this game than just this. And we're going to listen to some pretty sweet screeching metal. I don't know what's going on in the background. Sort of sounds like an angry pterodactyl sometimes. And uh, try not to be distracted by all the wiggly stuff and the flashing maze, which I can only seem to keep in my mind for like one second at a time. I have, I'm sorry, I have to go that slow because the increment that they give you to not screw up with it's extremely unforgiving. Especially it seems to be when you're moving horizontally, you almost have less room than when you're moving vertically. There's a pterodactyl again. Look at me slide, I don't get what that's about. Why do I have to slide that far? It just, it strikes me that, like, somebody would bother to make this game go this far with the graphics and music, and, like, that this is potentially all that there is to it? I, I kind of don't believe that. I want to see for my own eyes, see for myself, I mean, exactly what the deal is. I thought that was going to be the Harry Potter theme for a split second in the background. Please don't give me a copyright strike for saying the words Harry Potter in this video. It sounds like some weird, like, remix Mega Man song now, which is kind of cool, actually. You'll have to forgive me, I sort of spoiled the maze for myself because it's already punishing enough to do it without being able to see the maze for the majority of it. This seems like an Art Atari 2600 challenge that they would give you. Because, like, they don't have enough game to the, the whole thing. That sample of the girl screaming reminds me a lot of a clip from a Marilyn Manson song where he says, burn the witches, burn the witches. If you uh, knew that song, you would know what exactly what I'm talking about. Did I go the right way? I can't really tell. It, this thing doesn't stay on the screen for very long at all. Uh, yeah, I think I went the right way. All right, I need to go down, and I need to go left. This is the furthest I've made it so far. What about that background image? Is the optical illusion? Is it the, the spacing between them, or is it like those semicircles that are happening? on each of those spheres or circles. Almost there. Now I gotta go down. Could be kinda interesting music, I guess. I wouldn't probably mind listening to this in the background while I'm working on some art. Maybe for a couple of minutes, anyway. Screaming's probably not my favorite part, but... Odd, I would say that considering how much screaming music I listen to in my general life. If you didn't know about bands like Between the Guard and Me and Protest the Hero are like my favorite bands ever, so... Screaming is sort of my thing, I guess. But I don't like it when they sound like they're in pain. Alright, let's go left. I really don't want to hit a wall at this point, because I've made it really far. Okay, we're almost there. Now I gotta go down, I think. I'm trying to, like, follow this path, but it just stays on for, like, one second. I'm pretty sure it's down here. Uh, now the siren's going off. Makes me think Pyramid Head's gonna show up any moment. 
How on earth am I making a video about this maze? This is ridiculous. I kind of feel bad, because there's some games with more substantive uh, content to them that I'm passing up for this. But, you know, I you know I go where I like with this show. Oh! Arr. That's very frustrating. Illusory Momo, how are you going to do this to me? I gotta do it again. I, I'm not gonna be satisfied unless I finish this thing. Let's see if we can try this one more time. Maybe I can go a little faster this time, although going faster... probably just gonna screw me up. After not looking at this image for a few seconds, it's, it looks lighter in color than it was last time. I guess your eyes sort of settle on this pattern after a while. Which is an interesting thing all in itself. I would be interested if this was some sort of, like, a college experiment that a student was running to see, like, the, the limits of someone's patience. As well as a bunch of strange control conditions, like how do they cope with screaming and strange music and optical illusions in a maze. I mean, granted, it's kind of trippy, but at the same time, it's not really that trippy that it's, like, trying to mess me up. It's mostly just this flashing of the uh, border of the maze that's making things difficult here. If I could see this, this wouldn't really be very hard. I just can't seem to keep the structure of these spaces in my mind for long enough to really make, you know, the proper moves that I need to make. I'm trying to line it up with the background, but there's so little to orient myself, so little to give me perspective on where I'm trying to move, that that does make it harder. Although I did make it almost, like, halfway back to where I was before in about half the time, I think, this time. So maybe this is an experiential project process that we will progress at. A little more down. I'm really careful about these overhangs. I really don't want to smack my character into one. A little further. I can go into the center of this purple circle. And now I can go down. I should be safe here. So checking each border each time I move. A little further. That's that's about right. Maybe just a little, little bit further. There we go. Now I can go left. Now I'm going to want to stop right about there, and then I'm going to go down, and I need to go down to about the middle of this circle, and then I need to go right. The flashing lights at this point, like, are not so epilepsy-inducing, I believe. It's just the when you lose in the starting screen, it's a little bit hard to look at. I was kind of thinking when I started this, I was going to do like a two and a half minute video on this, but I really don't like doing videos that short. People have told me I should do shorter videos in general, but I really I like to play them as long as I feel like I need to play the, the game to get the right experience. And I know that's sort of up for interpretation, because I don't always get the same experience that some of you guys do. Which is unfortunate, but you know, I'm only one person, I only have one perspective here. Alright, I need, need to go up and then right. I need to stop very soon. Right about here. Alright, now a little bit right. I feel like I'm playing the game Operation. You got water on the knee? Operation. It's a whole bucket, see? Operation. It's a Charlie horse, it's true. Operation. I'm the doctor for you. Not really, though. I'm not a doctor. And if I was a doctor, I probably wouldn't be playing this game right now. To be honest with you, I'd probably be attending to some patients or, you know, reading a book. I don't know, whatever doctors do. They do a lot of studying. Pretty sure they do, at least I hope they do. If they don't, then I kinda... I'm not so sure about having them as a doctor. I want my doctor to be primed on all of the newest medical innovations, like how to cure diseases with panda blood, because that's a thing. Um, alright, I think I'm getting somewhere. I need to go a little bit more left, then a little bit up and right, I believe, is gonna be almost the end here. Am I safe? Is this wall really close? It's kinda close. i move over. Alright, right about here. I need to double check this path, because I don't want to meet a dead end. I'm pretty sure this is correct here. I'm gonna go right. This seems like a small gap, though. And the noise in the background has become a cacophony. And it's sorta scaring me a little bit, because it doesn't seem to be letting up at all. Almost there. A little bit more up. And then to the right. Props to you guys if you sat through this so far. This has been a real experience. I'm staring intensely at my computer monitor right now. You should see my posture is insane. I'm completely hunched over with my eyes probably no further or no, uh, yeah, no further or less far than six inches away from the screen right now. 
which is not good for your eyes, especially staring at an optical illusion. Almost there, almost there. Thread the needle, man. Don't slide. Oh, I think the music's over. Honestly, if it was dead silent after this, I don't think I would be comfortable playing this anymore either. Almost there, almost there. A little more up, and then we're gonna stop. I kind of imagine this song showing up on Guitar Hero now for some reason. Or the Rock Band Network. A right, little touch more, and now I'm gonna go left. A little touch more up. There we go, now we're gonna go left. This is the final turn. I need to go down this hallway. Stop pretty soon. Right about the middle of those two circles. Right here, alright. And then we're gonna go up. Dance, 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 dance,